What's my name? I don't know. Just kidding, I do, but I'm not gonna tell you. What I am gonna do though is talk about this new Apple TV Plus show, Severance, and I'll be getting into spoilers later in the video, but for now I'm just gonna give a general review. It starts out with this really interesting premise. We've got these people that have willingly maybe willingly gotten this sort of severance surgery where things are put in and taken out of their brain and basically their work life is separated from their home life which in theory sounds like a good idea but in the show creates a lot of problems and confusion for the characters but anyways when they're at work they have no memory of their past really or of anything that happens when they're at home and vice versa but as far as other things in the show go like cinematography i mean it there's some really great shots they have a lot of nice wide shots and really interesting ways of editing where there's a lot of just like match cuts you know showing one person this way and then the like exact same thing it's like this is a very like basic looking office, but at the same time, there was clearly a lot of effort put into that production design. Um, and then they do a great job of having differences in lighting. There's this very fluorescent, obnoxious lighting at the office. And then at home, everything's very dark. I mean, it's typically nighttime or morning when Mark is at home, so it, is mostly nighttime there so everything's pretty dark compared to the office and also I think the score is really great that's something that when I first saw the trailer I was like oh I'm hoping this music is in the show as well sometimes in trailers they don't really use the same music they use more like intense music or whatever but the music in the trailer is the same as in the show and a really great opening title sequence they have a lot of interesting visuals in there that i don't quite understand what they all mean but i'm hoping we get to figure that out eventually but um also the actors i think do a really great job of differentiating between their work and home life because really their work personality is almost like a new person is born because in that opening scene we see Helly wake up and she doesn't know anything about herself so it's almost like she's a new person and they do a really nice but subtle job of being different between those two worlds but also still being the same person deep down if that makes any sense so now I'm gonna kind of move on to some spoilers. So if you haven't seen the episodes, the first three episodes yet, just so you know, I'll be getting into the spoilers now. So we start out with Helly on the table. She doesn't know what's going on. I was kind of like, the scene felt off to me. It was interesting and a great way to start the show, but just the acting for some reason didn't seem good i'm like oh this is weird it doesn't really seem like i wasn't sure who the actress was who played heli so i, I didn't know if maybe she just wasn't the best but it, it was just something about the scene maybe i just wasn't quite understanding it yet but so far other scenes throughout the show she's been great so i don't know what why i was thinking that maybe i just wasn't quite in her headspace because i think now i realize her character she's kind of funny but at the same time Time she's like I want to get out of here so I think I wasn't quite understanding that balance between emotions um, and then Mark also he seems like the villain in the opening scene which was super weird to me because I was like oh I thought we were gonna be from his perspective but I mean we are for the most part it's him and Helly that are almost like co-main characters but it's really Mark who is the main character um, I also thought it was pretty interesting how Mark is more depressed at home. You know, his wife passed away, so that's actually why he got this severance surgery, so that for a big chunk of the day, he didn't have to remember that his wife died, which is super sad, but I feel like if this severance thing was a real thing, a lot of people would want to just not have to think about work when they're at home and I feel like that's the reason most people would get the severance surgery not the other way around so I think that's kind of an interesting way they did that I was not expecting that going into the show um, 
we learn that this surgery is controversial among people in the world. Um, Mark goes to this dinner party. I think it's his sister who's pregnant and married and people don't, they don't, they kind of are a little, they're asking questions kind of uncomfortable questions and clearly it's kind of like one of those topics that a lot of people have strong opinions on but then everyone's kind of like oh we support you even though I don't think they really do but I thought that was interesting kind of instead of directly addressing real controversial issues in the world they kind of just made this new one and kind of almost satirizing real issues and maybe we should just I don't know. Anyways, um, so one thing that's mentioned, I think it's Mark that says it, and he says, you have the option, your Audi is what they call people that, the versions of themselves outside of your, outside of work, the Audis always have the opportunity to come to work or not. And it's really up to them though to, to do that, which is kind of an issue, but it's, very clear in this show that it's difficult to resign. They say that multiple times and then Heli tries to resign and quickly it's brought back to her and she's like thinking, oh, I was able to resign, but no, she is not able to resign. And she was really thinking she was going to be able to, but apparently it was a really quick turnaround. It was only like the next day they already disapproved of it. So that, is very unfortunate for her. It does seem like these characters are there for a reason, you know? It's not like they're just these random figure characters that are gonna end up figuring out this mystery. We have, I believe her name is Harmony, super weird name choice for her, but she's very just like, I don't know how to say it, but she's just so like straightforward but almost has no emotion and then it's a very different character that she plays in the real world although i don't think she's gotten the severance surgery so she's her character patricia arquette's character is apparently really good at acting <laughs> because she plays like mrs silvage or something like that and she's just kind of like this sweet, kind of an annoying next door neighbor, but mostly a sweet one. And I'm wondering why she like, she at one point goes into Mark's house, which is super weird. And I don't know, she's just kind of like snooping around. She takes the book that his brother-in-law dropped off. It was just super weird that like, why is she so invested in him? Like, why did she choose to live right next door to Mark out of like, couldn't she have a huge big house and said, I mean, it's still a pretty decent sized house, but it seemed like she'd be able to have one much bigger than Mark's and why live right next to him if there's like all these houses that Lumen owns? I don't know. Another thing that we learn is that the innies can't communicate with the Audis. So weird to say innies and Audis, but anyways. Heli tries to escape multiple times, but she fails to do that multiple times. Pretty much in every episode, she has multiple occurrences of wanting to escape, but she isn't able to do that. We get a really intense scene in episode three, I think it is, where she's kind of running, got some shaky camera work. First time the camera's shaky. Um, but she's running around. Mark's trying to chase her. She takes a fire extinguisher smashes a window and throws her note outside. I think it manages to get outside, but I will say how they did that where first they showed her, I think it was in episode one where she like leaves and then she just comes right back in and we don't see what happens on the other side, but then it's in the next episode where we see once she comes out, um, the guy that's kind of their sort of supervisor, I guess, he shows them videos, brings, melons to them. I don't know what his job really is, but anyways, she goes out there and then he's like, oh yeah, you, you tried to leave, but it's okay. You should go back in and try again. Super like manipulative, but at the same time, I feel like this guy is also being controlled a little bit. So moving on to the different departments, 
we have, I forget what this department is called, but Irving, I think that's what his name is, has an interaction with this guy and they seem to kind of become friends, but then I guess there's this sort of rivalry between them. This office is gigantic. There's so many scenes where they're walking through the hallways and it like takes forever to get to different places. Um, but I guess there's like this sort of almost war between the different departments and they are just like horrified when they bump into each other and clearly there's something going on. I don't know if this department specifically is kind of playing a villainous role in this company or if they're just another department that is the victim, you know? But there was a lot that happened in these first three episodes and I'm sure there's a lot more that'll happen. Another thing was um, Mark's best friend Petey, who we learn a little bit about in the work environment, ends up showing up to talk to Mark in the real world. I guess he got his little chip thing removed somehow, but it's causing some horrible side effects and by the end of episode three he like basically dies. I'm not sure if he died or not. It's kind of unclear and Mark's kind of having these conflicting feelings like, well wait a minute, did I just like help this crazy guy or or should I even go over to him to see if he's all right, you know? Because Mark doesn't really know who he is since he only knew Petey at the at his workplace and apparently Petey had like a cell phone. I, I don't really know what what the cliffhanger deal with that was. Cliffhangers are like uh, all right. They've been all right, but I'm still intrigued to see what happens next. I, I don't really know what's going to happen to be completely honest. I think there's a lot of directions this series could go and I'm looking forward to it. I think it's a great mystery so far. I guess it takes place in like the 90s sort of since I thought maybe the older computers were just kind of like a weird work environment. It's they their job is so weird. They just have to like find numbers and they don't even know how to code. <laughs> it's just like okay, clearly something else is going on and I can't wait to get to the bottom of it. You can comment down below your thoughts and I would love to hear them and let me know of any other shows you'd like me to check out. I've reviewed quite a few shows if you want to watch any of my other reviews. You can like, subscribe, comment, and share if you want, but whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Thank you everyone so much for watching and God bless.